Welcome, ladies and gents. If you're not prepared for Wrath, you're going to need to get in here and do these things to maximize your entry into the Frozen North. First, you're going to want to get yourself a quest log full of completed quests. If you have remaining group quests out there to still do yet, I would suggest targeting those first for the most XP gains for each quest in your quest log. This is more or less an easy task to accomplish and get a quick jump into 7071 right away with the least post-launch effort simply run around turning in your entire log full of quests boom you've got yourself some very easy xp right out of the gate kind of slingshotting forward making those big gains the next thing i'd suggest you do is take time and evaluate your current in-game professions and their use going into wrath of the lich king if you're changing professions to something that's not inscription you can take and get the groundwork for that underway with the idle time before the big leveling grind to 80 takes place now, if you're in a situation much like myself, I'm planning on playing a Death Knight in Wrath, so I haven't been able to work on changing any professions. I have done something I would suggest you guys do, is to find a guide for whichever profession you're looking to take, and gather, farm, stockpile, buy up, do what you gotta, but uh, I would get all the materials ready that you can for that given profession. I fill your bank with, you know, herbs, fill your bank with ores, all that kind of stuff, stone, gems, whatever you need. And that way, as soon as the pre-patch drops on the 26th, you'll be able to have everything you need in order and ready to go. You're simply just going to have to go through your bank, grab all the materials, sit there, make the required number of each things, and boom, 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 your skill's just going to fly through the roof, and you'll be all caught up with everybody else quite quickly. Uh, also, if you have decided you're going to be doing Inscription, you can still take the time and stockpile all the herbs and any other uh, currently available materials in-game and have those ready for the pre-patch. So again, they're still just going to be sitting there waiting for you, and as soon as it pops, or drops, excuse me, you can just go ahead and boom, start knocking those out right away. Also on profession note, make sure you have all your first aid training up so that you can jump right into the new tier of first aid. And in addition to that, um, you will be able to train all of your first aid needs from the trainer once Wrath is dropped. I'm not 100% sure if this is going to be available in the pre-patch or if this is just going to go live uh, on September 26th when we enter Northrend. Either way, having to work that from, you know, 0, 150, wherever you happen to be at, all the way up to get there before Northrend is going to be a little bit of work. But I suggest getting it done ahead of time, being ready, and you can start making those new advantages right out of the gate and benefit from those immediately. As with any other expansion or re-release of an expansion, Wrath will have plenty of places for you to burn through your hard-earned gold. Well, at least the gold you picked up from running all those GDKPs. First thing you're going to be looking at for each tune you intend to take the level cap is you're going to have an immediate out of the gate 1,000 gold dual spec cost. You can get this as early as level 40. Most of you are probably going to be working on tunes that are already at the level 70 cap, but still you're going to need 1,000 gold per tune. So I personally can't see any way or reason you wouldn't want this for all of them. Um, and then in addition to that, you're going to have for each of those same characters, you're going to need another thousand gold for your cold weather flying for each tune. You know, that starts to add up if you've got two, three characters. You know, you're looking at, uh, you know, four, six thousand gold, whatever it may be, amongst all of those characters. On top of that, if you don't have any good friends uh, or guildmates who are doing Inscription, uh, and you're not doing it yourself, you're going to want to find... Uh, a way to get a hold of those highly sought after inscriptions as soon as possible and that's going to cost you coin right there as well they're going to not be giving those away it's going to be a premium i almost guarantee you for the first few weeks it's basically just an instant application and then power boost for your tune you take the inscription you apply it boom you've now got a more powerful character right out the gate uh the other thing that's going to be a big uh, pen, uh a big cost here is a class uh karen tour rings that are going to be available in dalaran uh, another way to sink some money right there, and they're a good item at that. Uh, they also have a usable effect for the Dalaran portal. They essentially give you an extra hearth at a cool price of 8,500 gold. If you don't have that, you're going to be farming for a hot minute to get enough gold to grab one for yourself. And last but not least, unnecessary, but handy to have, the Mammoth Mount has a vendor and a repairing PC strapped to its back and uh, if you haven't done the rep for that guy, it's going to be coming in at a pre-faction price reduction of 20,000 gold. 
And, uh, you know, when you look at this, you got a few thousand gold for your flying, you got a few thousand gold for your dual specs for multiple characters. You're looking at your rings at 8,500 per, per tune, should you buy more than one. Holy lord, that's going to be a lot of gold. And then the mount, 20,000 gold. So it adds up very, very quickly out the gate. Plus, you're going to be looking to get new enchants. You're going to be looking at all the things you want to do to boost your character's uh, power as you progress through Northrend's content. We all know the pre-patch is right around the corner, and when that drops, we're going to have access to this content for four weeks prior to the release of Northrend. And there'll be lots of fun things going on to do here as well. First things first, I mean, everybody knows, and as I just said, I'm personally going to be playing a Death Knight, basically the coolest freaking class with the, uh, you know, the class fantasy, in my opinion. I love all the skills they have. It just looks so sick. They fit exactly what I want them to be. Either way, that aside, uh, they'll become available, and um, you're going to be, if you're like me, you're going to be jumping headfirst into leveling, getting all your professions topped out, and gra grabbing onto any easily accessible gear. So you can go into Northrend strong. A single Death Knight will be available to players on any given server without any other requirements, i.e., as previously, you had to have at least a level 55 character to get a Death Knight. This time around, you're able to make one Death Knight, uh, I believe it's per server, without having any other prerequisites or having level to tune to 55 in advance. So that's a nice little feature for those of you guys that may be jumping in, joining us, or coming back for Wrath. That's an option. During the pre-patch, uh, players will also be able to collect the Chronic Wounds and acquire gear available during the Scourge Invasion event. Uh, as well, at the same time, the servers will have the Plague event uh, happening where players can become infected with the disease and after 10 minutes they will turn into a ghoul and be able to infect NPCs and even other players. Uh, this will turn cities into a brothel of ruin and undead, something I personally look forward to joining in on, well, of course once I have my leveling, gearing, and professions and everything else ready, but it's still a really cool event and I think it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, you know, you get the infection down there in Booty Bay, get, getting up on those crates and, and or collecting it or getting it from another player. Remember, you've got that 10 minute window where you can be dispelled, so try to hide so people don't get it taken off of you until you turn. Think of it like the Walking Dead in Azeroth. Hmm. Another highlight uh, for some players is uh, Prince Tenris uh, Merkblood appears in Karazhan. He's in the guardhouse above the Huntsman. He notably drops the Arcanite Ripper uh, that was used, that has, excuse me, has an on use effect. Bust out a face melter, turning into a rock and roll god for a few brief moments. Uh, you can become your own favorite rock legend. This item is going to only be available during the invasion, so if you want to get it, you got to get in there and get it while it's hot. For those of you who love your pets and critters, this boss will also drop a vampiric battling pet, which will now be uh, storable in a pet-specific window rather than having to take up bag space. Also, we're going to be seeing another life... Uh, Quality of life improvement here. Mounts are going to be added to a similar mount window for uh, for this time around. So that's going to be some nice quality of life things that are being added there. And last but not least, enjoying your journey, doing these things, getting ready. Uh, I would say take the time. Find a group. Find a guild. Line up your like-minded people if you haven't already. And try to lock in a group for leveling. You can plan. You can do your dungeon spams. Group together do your quest together, whatever it is, it always sets out for a great time when you can lock them with a few friends on, you know, a launch day or an evening that comes thereafter and ha hit the ground running, having fun together. Thank you so much. I hope to see you guys over on Dokken underscore TV on Twitch. Till next time, have a good one and we'll see you.